Hey everybody, I'm going to do some talking on the road today because, you know, we're going to make that a thing. So here we go. Let's uh, get this started here. Right on. All right. So today we want to talk about the CTA and CTP programs. And so as you may or may not know, I am uh, starting my um, second term as a CTA or Citrix Technology Advocate, which is a program that is... Uh, kind of co-run by the uh, by Citrix and the Citrix user group community, and then you have the larger uh, or the, sorry, the larger but uh, the the other program that runs exclusively by Citrix, which is the Citrix Technology Professionals. And so, I sometimes get the question, what is the selection criteria? Well, they're they're a little bit different for both, and um, I don't want to speak to the CTP selection criteria uh, today mostly because, A, I'm, I'm not one and don't want to speak authoritatively on that, but also I think it can vary a little bit based on what the needs are that Citrix has because you are really serving Citrix uh, very much so. Um, with the CTA program, with the Citrix Technology Advocates, <clears throat> the goal really is to serve the community. And so when I'm asked about you know what the criteria are for the, the CTA program or what we look for, um, the honest truth is what we're looking for is how much of a community participant you are. In other words, how much time you spend in the, in the community as a whole, whether that be um, yeah, in uh, Citrix user group meetings, uh, whether you're leading those or helping out with those, or are you active on the forums, um, are you somebody who is um, just contributing to, to the my CGC website, that sort of thing, um, what involvement you have, whether it's your independent blog or you're contributing to other people's blogs, which, by the way, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, if you ever want to submit an article to my blog, ctxpro.com, you're more than welcome to. That's I, I built that to be a, a community resource, not just a uh, resource just of mine. So I do accept uh, blog post submissions. You can uh, message me if that's something you're interested in. But um, so there's a lot of ways to get involved and add value. Now, um, I get the question sometimes like, what does add value mean? That's kind of a <clears throat> yeah, weird term. You know, it, what it really means is at, at its core, to me, add value means that you have made someone else's life improve, even if it's just a little bit. Um, you have added value to their to that interaction by by whatever it is you're doing. In other words, <clears throat> a lot of people can be consuming content, other people can be creating content. And if you are in the add value space, usually you are trying to create content that is uh, helping people with either a problem um, or just sometimes it's brightening their day. Uh, other times it is um, uh, sharing something you've learned in the hope that it'll, it'll help someone else along the way. Whatever that looks like for you uh, might vary, but honestly... When it comes to being an advocate for the Citrix Technologies, um, what we're looking for is people that are kind of doing both, that building building others up, being a good member of the community that is uh, trying to build up rather than tear down. We don't want people that are like territorial and things like that, or just you know always convinced that they're you know the best thing since uh, you know sliced bread or whatever. That's probably not what we're looking for so much. But we are looking for people that are very open and honest uh, and are uh, very much about the technology and uh, how they, how can help people and, and make and kind of make the world a better place, I guess you could say, to be overly cheesy about it. But, uh, but honestly, that's what we're looking for. So during this next year, if you have the notion of becoming a CTA or even a CTP, one of the things I would suggest that you do is look into how you're serving. In other words, it's not just about what you know about the technology. In fact, I would say that there's a few of us that probably aren't really authorities in the technology space. Um, some of us are just really uh, good community members, and that is why we are selected as uh, CTAs. Uh, and so consider that, that, that it's not just about what you know technically. We got a lot of applications this last year, and I will say that that was a theme I saw a lot of, 
is some of the, the technology being the big thing. Like, I know this, I know that, I'm certified in this, I'm certified in that. And honestly, you know, that's, it's, that's great and all, but what we're really looking at for that program is how much you are actually involved in the community and how much value you're adding to other people's lives uh, as a part of that. And uh, from Citrix's perspective, the feedback that I've gotten is that the people that are really doing a lot to um, um, kind of give good use cases for the technology and things like that that, that make sense in the real world that aren't just prompted by a, a salesperson or, or something along those lines, those are really good things to, to, to hold up and to, and to bring to the forefront and as far as uh, any uh, content or blog posts or, or comments on, on forums or, or whatever. Those are great things to, to have. And so as we go into this year, into 2019, if you uh, are interested in becoming a Citrix Technology Advocate, uh, that's some, uh, some tips for you. If you uh, need any more information, just uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, I'm more than happy to give thoughts and even in some cases some limited coaching if that's helpful for you. So uh, yeah, I hope that hope this has been helpful to you and I'm now at my destination, which means I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Cheers guys buddy.